Porch Talk with Trey. Y'all don't get it. If there's one thing I've been asked more than anything else so far, it's why. Why'd you make those videos in the first place? Well, that question's hard to answer because honestly, and I know how this sounds, I kind of feel like my whole life has been leading up to those videos. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, let a man write one damn book and he thinks he's James Franco, am I right? I know, I'm insufferable. You should talk to Corey and Drew about it sometime. But it's true. I made the videos because they represent who I am and how I felt my whole life. Growing up in Salina, Tennessee, population not a lot, we have no traffic lights, I was hailed as a literal prodigy. I'm not that smart, trust me, but comparatively speaking, they treated me like a fat redneck goodwill hunting. Like fat will hunting. Good Billy Bob hunting. Goodwill hunting. The story of how I got my clothes. You get it. It was a whole thing. And I got made fun of and shit for it too, being the smart kid. I was always different. But then I moved away and realized that while I was the smart kid in my hometown, I was just that hick dude everywhere else. I mean, even in places like Knoxville and Nashville, but especially once I started leaving the South some. The way my accent made people react, the things people assumed about me, it always pissed me off. And that bitterness, that resentment at being constantly underestimated and misjudged, well, it's kind of like a bad tattoo. It never goes away. Not really. Because, hell, it happened in comedy, too. Audiences would hear my accent and immediately think, oh, well, cable guy's here. I would have road comics tell me, you're going to have to lose that accent, man. Shit like that. And so it kind of just became my mission to show people that an apparent redneck can be funny without talking about his farts or his dog or his dog's farts. And no, I'm not talking shit about Corey's act. But also that he can be well-spoken and insightful about things besides stock car racing, goddammit. So I made those videos to take a stand for people who don't get many words of support with a draw dripping from them. But as the support swelled and the comments got, uh, colorful, I realized those videos also were a chance to defy the bigots who make those stereotypes seem true and to show as many people as I possibly could, you think you know us? You think you got us all figured out down here? Well, y'all don't get it, but that's okay. I'll show you. We'll show you. Because that's another thing. I'm not some redneck unicorn. I'm not special. There are plenty of liberal thinking, intelligent country folk out here and we're tired of people either not knowing or not caring that we're down here, trying to fight against the ignorance and the hate and doing it from the front lines, by God. It's time we made our presence known. That's why I made the videos, and that's why we wrote this book.